Chris and Kelly from Virginia, you guys have purchased an analysis and an MLS search from me. This is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Chris and Kelly, you guys are from Virginia. I'm gonna just quickly uh, go over and read the email that you guys had sent to me here hey james we are chris and kelly from virginia and we are brand new to real estate investing however we have been doing a ton of research over the past year watching your youtube channel thank you for that and uh, are ready to take the plunge in the cleveland area our investment strategy we'd like to acquire 10 or more rental properties in the next five to seven years using the burr strategy now Today, as I'm talking to you right now, this is Tuesday. By the time I launch this video to you, Chris and Kelly, it's probably gonna be Thursday or Friday. Um, everyone else who is seeing this, you're seeing this probably 60 to 90 days after Chris and Kelly have seen this. Uh, when I launch these, I launch these in a private link first because I would never want the analysis uh, that I do for Chris and Kelly here uh, to lead somebody else who's watching the channel for free uh, to come in and snag their deal. Uh, so just so everyone is aware, Chris and Kelly have already seen this two, three months ago, and uh, these properties, they're no longer available. Um, and for all of those who are out there watching, they're talking about the Burr strategy. What that means, that means buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. Back to your email, Chris and Kelly. Uh, your max budget, 80K cash or less. You'd like to purchase a distressed duplex? Absolutely, it's very, very important that the property be distressed for the Burr strategy to work, so good job there. Uh, you have a target ARV, 80 to 100K. You're looking to stay in B or C areas. Um, you would like uh, Holton Wise to be your property manager and uh, your buyer's agent after um, this video if you decide to move forward on the properties. Very cool. Uh, you're hoping to cash flow $500 per duplex. Um, you're not opposed to single family homes, but you really like multi families. And then you go on to say, uh, we found one property that might fit our criteria depending on how low we can acquire the property for and how much their repair cost might be. 2304 Noble Road, Cleveland Heights. You guys like it because it's a distressed duplex. Yes, uh, burrable. Yes, decent looking neighborhood. I do like Cleveland Heights. Uh, potentially a 3-1 if you renovate the attic and make that a bedroom. So potentially more income than your average duplex that might be a 2 one, two, one. They recently dropped the price by 15K, so they may be extremely motivated and we might be able to get it for a steal. I have a feeling the rehab costs on this property might get out of control, bathroom with mold, basement, but you know better. If this property is not a good buy for us, can you tell us why for educational purposes? Absolutely. Uh, also, can you find a property that fits our criteria and would be a good first time purchase? Either way, I would like to come away with a property that we can pull the trigger on and get started with Holton Wise in real estate investing. I hope we purchase the appropriate educational package. I know what I'm asking for is a combination of two packages. Thank you for your time. We love your YouTube channel. Keep up the great work. Awesome. Again, thank you, Chris and Kelly. I'm glad you guys love the content we are putting out there. Uh, so yeah, I can do all of that. <clears throat> so, you know, some of the products I offer, you know, you, you pick a property, uh, which you've done here, which is 2304 Noble and I will analyze that property for you. And then another one of the products we offer is I will do multiples. I will do two properties in one video. Um, and uh, it could even be a property that you already have in mind so I can compare two that you like, tell you which one to buy. Uh, or in this case, you have one you like, so I'm gonna talk about that and I'm gonna compare it to another one that I have already went out, I've searched and I have found a property for you and uh, you know ran the numbers on that. So let's get into this. Let's. Uh, First, go to um, the property on Noble that you guys are talking about. Here it is. It's a duplex, traditional duplex in Cleveland Heights. 
Uh, this is listed by a buddy of mine. His name is Dave. He works over at Howard Hanna. Uh, Dave and I, we go back. Uh, Dave and I have pretty opposing political views. Uh, Dave is, uh, well, we're on opposite sides of the spectrum. So if any of you guys follow me on Facebook, and if you don't, go ahead. Also follow me on my Instagram. Uh, Dave and I, uh, we go back and forth on Facebook quite a bit about politics. So Dave is a good dude. I've worked with Dave many times. Uh, here's what we got. Let me make this a little bigger for you. Tommy, is that, is that good for the camera? Looks good. Okay, good. Front porch here. All right. Looking in here. So it's a little, little beat up. Okay. Just a little beat up. Kitchen, totally trashed. Missing, missing drawers. Crap over here. Um, just, uh, you know, this kitchen's totally destroyed. Bathroom's totally shredded, as you see here. We got uh, mold everywhere, every which way. Um, pretty mold, moldy in the basement here. Missing a door right there. Okay. Just uh, overall, you know, your standard, uh, you know, beat to hell duplex. But, th you know, that's the name of the game. That's what you're here for. The duplex needs to be beat to hell for it to make sense for the burr strategy. So nothing wrong with the fact that it is beat to hell, but the question is going to be, is it actually going to make money? Is it going to work? Is it going to be a good investment? Is it going to fit your criteria, right? Our goal, spend less than 80K and get a target ARV, uh, 80 to 100K. After this thing is totally put together, yes, it will be worth roughly $100,000. Uh, quickly though, from your email, you spoke about possibly finishing the attic. That is cost prohibitive, um, in my opinion. If it's already done, I consider that a great bonus, uh, but I, I probably wouldn't do that um, with this particular property. We can still get an ARV of $100,000 at this property without doing the attic. The issue is uh, with the purchase price, you know, the ask price right now, it was 65, you're right, they just lowered it to 50,000. It's been on the market almost two months now. 50,000 is too high, you can't pay 50,000. I, I like Cleveland Heights, I think Cleveland Heights is a cool neighborhood. And I like the duplex itself, but with the amount of work required and the, the current ask price, this deal has to be 100% James Wise denied. <laughs> Now, if this sits on the market for a long time and you can get that price way, way down, this could be a deal. But you cannot um, pay fifty thousand. You cannot do it um, in Cleveland Heights. There's something called a point of sale inspection. Okay, Cleveland Heights. Anytime a seller sells a house in Cleveland Heights, the seller goes uh, to the city. The city comes out and they do an inspection. Uh, several violations, right? And the seller to sell the property has to either fix all those violations prior to the sale or a buyer, you, has to assume them. You have to put money in escrow. So you have to buy the property cash because it's beat to shit, right? So you're going to buy it cash. It's not livable. Bank's not going to loan you any money. But you already know that because you guys, you're aiming to do a burr. Um, so you're in the right spot here. Uh, but, you know, you have to put up your cash just so you know. You also separately than your cash have to put up the money to repair. So like say you bought it for 50 and then uh, the repairs are like 50, right? You have to put up your 50, spend another 50. So you're spending 100, you also have to put 50 in escrow. City won't give you the money back till you fix it. Uh, this POS is, whoo! This is a, a brutal POS. Let me make this a little bigger for you guys to see here. This was a long one. Okay, so just going through the POS, you know, these are all the things uh, that have been violated. Okay, just quickly going through them here. There's no utilities, so electrical, plumbing, heating, heating systems. You gotta square all those away. Uh, you gotta find and correct the cause of water seepage through the foundation wall. Just for that alone, they want you to hold 5,000 in escrow. Uh, there's a weak slash sagging floor, so that means there's uh, you know some issues with the floor joist, structural issues, that that issue alone, they want 1500 in escrow. You got uh, loose flaking uh, paint material. Uh, the waste stack is totally broke, uh, so that's 1250 for that. Page two, place deteriorated water line, missing drain, uh, 
install hot water tanks. Okay, just more and more. Replace missing damaged door. That was probably that back door. Uh, they want you to remove the ceilings and the framework uh, from the bathroom. So going back over here, that would be, that was this right here. Where the heck was it? Uh, that was this. So what they want you to do, which you have to do. I mean, obviously you can't put a tent in here, but you got to pull all this down um, and then, you know, reframe it up, probably replace some of those joints that are probably covered in mold. Um, and just kind of, you know, just going down, just, just more stuff that's relatively obvious and would have to happen um, during any cosmetic renovation uh, to actually get this to rent uh, to tenants. I want to see if there's anything here that was outside of like what we do. Like usually with point of sale cities, like, you know, <clears throat> a lot of times the point of sale uh, violations list, it's all stuff we'd have to do anyway on a bird deal. Uh, but sometimes the cities, they, they add a few additional costs when there's a point of sale inspection. Like a lot of times these duplexes, like we could definitely get tenants in there without replacing the driveways. But the cities are notorious uh, for hitting you for the driveways. Um, I'm looking to see if this one has a driveway on it. which would add more cost, obviously. Oh, oh here's a big one. Replace deteriorated roof. You got to hold 8,000 in escrow there. Um, Place some damaged windows. Oh, they want you to rebuild the steps and the guardrails. Another 3K for that. Tuck point the foundation. Yeah, we're still going. We're still going. This is a, this is a big one. Let's see here. Oh, here's a huge one right here. You have to actually install a new garage. They want you to hold $12,000 in escrow for that one. And that would go on top. See, that's like an added cost. Like you could normally, if this was Cleveland or something, you could re definitely rent this to tenants without a garage. So that's an additional 12. And that's just what they want in escrow. To be honest with you, your cost actually for a garage is to pour a new pad and get a garage, you're probably actually looking at 16 to 18K. So let's just call it 18K. Let me jot that down. Okay. And then they also want you to replace the driveway. Only asking 3,000 in escrow, but that's that's really probably like a $6,000 job. So that right there, it's $24,000 of added cost, okay, that you wouldn't need to do to get it uh, rent ready. So we got a total uh, POS escrow, $102,800. So if you were to buy this, you'd have to spend 50,000 cash. You'd have to put 102,800 um, in escrow at the city. So now you've got $150,000 deployed and you still haven't even began your renovations. Obviously the house is, is pretty darn beat. I believe cosmetically we're looking at, um, Probably the renovation for this property with how beat it is, I think, you know, it would cost, you would probably spend, I would say, to get it cosmetically and all the items cosmetically that are in that point of sale inspection report, I think you're going to spend probably $60,000 putting this house together. And that would be going in, new kitchens, new baths, all the interior stuff adding a new roof, new furnaces, new hot water tanks. I think we'd be spending about 60,000. But remember that point of sale, right? Stuff that wouldn't necessarily be required to rent the property. Uh, it added additional cost. Um, the cost to actually do that garage would be about 18,000. So all in, I think we're spending $78,000 to renovate this property. So you have to spend your 50, spend 102, then spend 78 and then you get your 102 back. So if you bought it, you know, you're all into the bad boy. Let me just quickly do the math for 50 and 78. You'd be all into this thing for $128,000. The ARV is only going to be about $100,000. So this, this deal is, you know, going to be James Wise denied. 
I, lo I like the property, like location. I like uh, the rentability. I think, you know, you get good tenants, right? You'd be able to rent each of those units as two bed, one bath, like fully renovated like that. You'd get 750, so you can bring in 1500 a month, but it doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, you can't pay 50 because that'll put you in at, at 128. You know, with that $78,000 renovation plus the $100,000 POS, even if you got this property for free, um, I, I don't really think it's like the, the best move, right? Because um, you can get it for, f I mean, I get, if you got it for free, you're all in for 78, you could do a refi, you get all your money back, but who's to say the seller's gonna, gonna give it to you for free? Uh, so for now, I'm gonna say James Wise denied. The seller's asking 50, you'd have to literally get it for free to successfully pull off a bird deal and get all your money back. Because uh, when you do the refi, it's gonna refi for 100, okay? And you're gonna be required to have 25% down uh, so that would be a $75,000 loan. So you'd only be into the deal for $3,000. That would be a successful bird deal. But you'd literally have to get the property for free. They're asking 50. I don't think my man Dave is going to be able to convince his clients to, to take an offer of free. So this deal, let's go ahead and James Wise deny this deal. We can move on from this deal. I think we can do much better for you. So. What I have done, I have done some research on the MLS and I found you a property that I think is much better for you, okay? Selling some of your smaller real estate holdings is a great way to raise the funds necessary to maximize the growth of your real estate portfolio. A 1031 exchange can benefit you greatly by allowing you to defer your capital gains tax so you can use those funds towards the purchase of more real estate instead. You are going to need a qualified intermediary in your corner. Dave Foster is a degreed accountant with a track record of successfully serving as a qualified intermediary for thousands of clients. Dave and his team would love the opportunity to see if a 1031 exchange is right for you. To set up a free consultation with Dave and his team, call 850-889 1031 or visit the 1031investor.com. 10601 Lynette Avenue, Cleveland, 44111. Uh, this is just a solid C class area, okay? Just on the west side. You know, if you look at my ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, you can just punch that in Google. Okay, 44111. That is a C neighborhood right here. Median income, $40,000. I like that other property. That was a nice property, but the costs were just too, too much. Um, with this property, I think we have enough room to knock this out. Now, the listing agent on this one, they didn't really give me too, too much to go off. It was two guys, Joe and Mike from Howard Hanna. Uh, it said investor special, price to sale. House has good bones, and if you're not afraid of a little work, it's perfect for you. Come take a look. Easy to show. So good bones is big, man. Good bones is hopefully we don't have any, uh, you know, we don't have any issues with the uh, the overall structure because that could be a deal killer for us. But what I've done here is I've pulled up the residential property disclosure form. So um, this is required for anybody who wants to sell a house in Ohio. Uh, there's no issues with the, the water supply, no issues with the sewer. They're saying that there is no issues uh, with uh, like water coming into the basement, no water intrusion issues. The roof isn't actively leaking. Um, we got no issues, you know, to the electrical, to the plumbing. Okay, they don't know, have any knowledge of asbestos or lead-based paint. All right, um, you know, this is all looking pretty good. This is like stereotypical of a property with good bones. So like we got no basement issues here, uh, which are the big ticket items. So I'm assuming we have something here which is just like a, to a total cosmetic renovation. Now, <clears throat> the cool thing with this property, okay, it's priced right, man. You could buy this at list price. It's priced at 29000 so I'm just gonna like assume we gotta go in and do everything. So we can go into this property, the up and the down unit, spend $15,000 in either of those units, in both of those units. So we're gonna spend a total of 30,000. And what that's gonna entail is that's gonna be us going in, 
Now, there's no other pictures, just so you know. Uh, Joe and Mike, they didn't include any other pictures, so I, I can't see what it looks like inside. All I have to go off of is that residential disclosure. So I'm just going to assume it's vacant, it's, it's beat up. You know, you have to do a bird deal here. You have to make this thing beautiful. You have to make this thing look good. So I don't actually care what is in there. Uh, we're going to refresh it all. So we're going to go in. All these duplexes, they're all laid out the same, okay? There's a kitchen in the back, a dining room in the middle, living room in the front, two bedrooms on the side with a bathroom in the middle, okay? They all have beautiful hardwoods under. But they're, you know, 100-year-old hardwoods, something like that. This house was built in 1948, so, you know, they're 80-year-old hardwoods. So we're going to refinish those. We're going to stain them a nice dark color, put a thick poly. We're going to take all that old woodwork, paint it white. We're going to go through the entire unit, the whole unit, paint the entire thing agreeable gray, and then we're going to do premium upgrades in the kitchen and the bath. We're going to make those shine. We're going to make them look beautiful. So we can do that renovation in each of these units for roughly $15,000. Beyond that, because I don't have the information, I'm going to assume, worst case scenario, we're going to install two brand new furnaces. It's going to be $6,000. Two hot water tanks, total of $2,000. We're probably going to spend about $2,000 on the electrical. So that's going to be a total, total cost, $40,000 plus our acquisition cost, $29,900. So that's going to be a total all into this investment, $69,900. We do not need to worry about a garage. We don't have any point of sale to deal with. We don't have to add a garage. We don't have to worry about that. Nothing to do with a garage. We don't have anything to do uh, with replacing the driveway. So right here, that $40,000 rental, and that's probably on the high end. Who knows? if uh, both furnaces actually need to be replaced. Hot water tanks, they don't last as long. Um, so unless one of them's like, you know, six, seven years old or newer, you know, we might be replacing those. Um, but there's a decent chance you don't have to spend all that. Um, but if you do, we're looking at $69,900. Another thing you could factor in is maybe a five or $6,000 roof, which would take us up to 75,000. But I don't think uh, the odds of us having to do the roof and both furnaces, and both hot water tanks, and the electrical, I think we're going to get a little bit of leeway with at least one of those. So I think 40000 is a pretty damn good estimate. So we're all into this deal, 69900 Since it's so beautiful, and we've done the premium upgrades in the kitchen and the bath of both units, everything is fresh, we would easily rent both of these units for $750 a month. With a totally turnkey property like this, with both units running at $750 a month, I would have absolutely no problem getting a value of $100,000. So this right here is definitely the deal for you guys. It, it hits everything you want to do. You want to do the bird deal, done, check. You want to be in B or C, done, check. You want to be all in for less than $80,000. We're probably going to be all in for about $70,000. It's probably going to appraise for $100,000. About cash flow, Let's just look at this, okay? Up and the down, each gonna rent for $750 a month. That's gonna be $9,000 a year. So you'll be making $1,500 a month or $18,000 a year in rental income. But of course, that's our gross rental income. We are not gonna put that $18K in our pocket. We have our expenses. So I broke all those down for you. Repairs and maintenance, you know, that's an estimate. I put it at roughly 5% of the gross rent, so 75 bucks. Vacancy and non-pay. Tenants don't pay all the time, guys. Now, when we renovate this and make it beautiful, we're getting the best tenants. So, you know, theoretically speaking here, our amount of bad tenants who don't actually pay in our evictions are probably going to be a lot less uh, than, a, a you know, a traditional duplex that's not this nice. Still put the estimate at 5%, so 75 a month. Same thing with your CapEx. We're going in there and we're renovating the whole damn unit, uh, but you're saving up. So like the furnaces, they last 30, 40 years, but you got to you know, account for that. You got to save up because in another 30 years, even if we replace them both right now, you got to replace them again. So we're going to save another 75 bucks uh, a month for that. Taxes, the taxes uh, on this property right now, they're only listed at 936 a year, so that's 78 a month. It's going to cost you roughly 80 bucks a month to insure it. Water sewer, I estimated that at $75 a unit. Um, that is like super hard to, to totally estimate. Everyone is different, um, but water sewer, man, 
that one's a problem. No matter what, just so you know, if you invest in the Cleveland market, you have to pay water sewer for the tenant. I actually get that question all the time. So I want to show you something. You go to the FAC on HoltonWise.com. You know, we got a fact for all of our customers, right? We have a fact for investors like you guys. We have a fact for our tenants. We also have a fact for uh, local people uh, who live here in the Cleveland market. They have houses they want to sell. Um, but you go to your investor fact, and down here, I have a whole thing of all of our property management information. But one of the big ones that I get all the time is why do we have to pay for the tenants' water and sewer? You know, we want to push that off onto the tenants. But you can't really do that. So right here, you know, it's a huge, long answer. It's a real long story. I don't want to waste a bunch of time in this video reading it to you, but definitely check that out if you're curious as to why. Uh, after that, other expenses, lawn care. Um, based on how many times we cut the grass, we typically cut the grass like every 10 to 12 days, uh, roughly like eight months a year. Um, I think it's 33 or 34 dollars uh, is what we charge uh, for lawn so generally speaking you're spending 504 dollars a year on lawn care uh, from Holton Wise so I average that out to 42 bucks a month obviously you're not uh, gonna be cutting that grass in January but I just averaged it out so 42 bucks a month lastly property management uh, all the services we provide to you guys obviously it ain't fee it ain't free <laughs> you got to pay the man uh, so 150 so we're bringing in 1500 a month we are bringing in 18,000 a year. Our total expenses are going to be seven and a quarter every month or $8,700 a year. So that puts our NOI, our NOI, this is if we're all cash into this investment, we should on average make $775 a month or $9,300 a year. Now it's important for you to understand that $9,300, that's what you're going to make every year. You're not going to exactly make 9,300 this year, the next year, the next year, right? It's going to go up. It's going to go down. You know, you guys are doing it smart. You want to buy 10, right? You want to buy 10 duplexes, so like 20 units. Um, some of them are going to run perfectly. Some of them are going to run rough. You know, some of them are going to have bad years. Some are going to have good years. So it all varies. But this is a very reasonable expectation of what you can see on average throughout your whole portfolio. So if you had 10 of these exact same duplexes, uh, through us, you would see the whole big picture of your portfolio would average out to an NOI of roughly $775 per duplex or $9,300 a year per duplex. Now, back to the Burr strategy, right? You want to pull the money back out. How much is this going to make when you pull your funds back out? Um, so, all in, remember, $29,900 was our purchase price. 40k was our reno okay so we're all into the deal for sixty nine thousand nine hundred dollars our net operating income we're bringing in nine thousand three hundred dollars a year on average so that's a cap rate of seven and a half that's a good cap rate now with this like i said it's going to appraise it's going to be worth 100k when you're done when you're done with the deal so you get a loan right it appraises for 100k it's a non-owner occupied loan you got to put down 25 percent or twenty five thousand. but remember you're only in to the deal for 69,900. So as far as like your required down payment, you actually end up essentially within your pocket, like in your pocket when it's all said and done, you get to acquire the property and you get to walk away with more money than you started. You're gonna walk away with $5,100 and then you're gonna have a $75,000 mortgage. So that cash on cash return is essentially indefinite or unlimited, whatever you wanna call it, right? Because you. You don't actually have any cash in the deal. You did the deal and then you walked away with more cash than you started with. That is like a bird deal on steroids. That's why I like this deal for you. And now you're gonna have a mortgage uh, in addition to all your other costs, your new uh, added costs now for walking away with all that money, getting all your cash back is a mortgage of $380.01 per month or $4,560 a year. So. If you factor in all of our other costs and then the new additional cost of this mortgage payment, you are going to walk away in your pocket every single month with $394.99 or every year $4,739.88. So if you go in, purchase this deal cash at list price, do that renovation, you're going to do a refi, you're going to walk away with $5,100 and on average, you're gonna be putting almost another 
$5,000 in your pocket every year. On top of that, you also have the tax benefits of depreciation. Make sure you talk to your CPA about that. So that is why I went out and I searched and I found this deal. I think this deal is perfect for you guys. Again, it is 10601 Lynette Ave, Cleveland. It's listed by, uh, I think it was Howard Hanna, two realtors, Joe and Mike. If you guys want, you can reach out to Joe and Mike. You can put the offer in through them or I will be more than happy to write the offer. Your call doesn't matter to me either way. You know what you got to do. You could just go into this bad boy and just, you could pay list, man, and you're still going to kill it. Now, uh, one thing I, I wanted to do, um, we went through your first property. You guys wanted me to go over the second property. I love this property. It's a super home run. I wanted to, you know, I'm, I want to under promise and over deliver. Okay. You bought an analysis on two properties. I appreciate that. You guys love the channel. Uh, I appreciate all the kind words. So I went in and I did a little bonus work for you guys here. Make sure you're subscribed to our investor mailing list. We are going to send you an email with the latest investment properties for sale every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can expect a full video offering, just like what you've seen today, in every one of these emails. Make sure you're subscribed to our investor mailing list. We are going to send you an email with the latest investment properties for sale every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can expect a full video offering, just like what you've seen today, in every one of these emails. Um, in case for whatever reason, when this Lynette property uh, analysis comes out and you see it and you're like, hell yeah, James, we want to buy that. If for whatever reason, maybe it's sold. I wanted to give you guys a bonus uh, property if I could find out where I put it. Here it is. 3428 West 117th Cleveland. Same neighborhood, 44111. It's another solid C-class neighborhood. Now, it's not a bird deal. It's, it's uh, more or less like a totally completed bird deal. They're asking $99,000 for this, but I thought it was worth looking at for you guys. Listed by a guy by the name of Dennis. He's also at Howard Hanna. I don't think it's the same office, though. Now, this guy does a lot more residential um, than he does investment. And this is it. This is, this is what they got on the listing. They got one total picture here. And this, this type of uh, realtor, you know, he doesn't necessarily have like a huge investor following. So this property at $99,000 has actually sat on the market for 160 days. Uh, so I think you might be able to squeeze in and maybe pick this property up for a little bit cheaper if you're coming in cash. Because it's actually already got two tenants in it, okay? There's already two tenants in there, and they're both paying $750 a month, which is what we would have gotten if we did all that work at Lynette and what we would have gotten if we did all that work at Noble. But, of course, we would have had to pay way too much money for Noble, so we won't do that. Um, but with this one, we already got two tenants, and they're paying $750. So if you go in there, you maybe get this thing all squared away for $80,000 cash. After you buy it cash, you go ahead and you, you do a loan, you do a refi, and it appraises for that $100,000. You got to keep 25% into the deal, so they'll write you a loan for 75 grand. So if you bought it for 80 cash, it's already got tenants in there, uh, they're giving you back 75. You might be into this deal for five grand, which is still less cash than if you went in and just bought it with your own mortgage. Likewise, if you ended up you know, picking it up for 90 and it appraised for 100, you're only into the deal for 15,000. So that would also be a successful bird deal. Don't think that every bird deal you do, uh, is going to be like the Lynette one where you actually walked away with $5,100 in your pocket. That's just like an awesome deal. Um, that's like a, that's like a, not only is it a home run, it's like a grand slam, right? But something like this uh, where it's already done, you're not doing much work, you can do these things quick, and uh, if you could pick it up, you know, for a good price, that might be worth following up on because, you know, it leads me to believe either the seller isn't getting any traction on this because we don't have many pictures and it looks like they're having buyers do showings at this property, and that never works, right? The best way to sell rental properties is how I do them on this channel, but like I tell you guys all the time, most realtors out here in the Cleveland market, they're used to traditional real estate. They don't do much of the investor space like I do, so they don't have 
you know, thousands and thousands of people from around the country. They don't have Chris and Kelly from Virginia following them. They just have the local folks. So they might be having a little bit of a hard time selling this property. Uh, so you might be able to get in and get it for cheap. A few more things about the property too. That roof on this property, it's only five years old. Furnaces and the hot water tanks are seven to eight years old. And uh, the driveway is paved and there is no point of sale inspection to worry about here. The city's not gonna come in and make you build a garage. So I like this as a backup for you. So just in summary, guys, the property you showed me, 2304 Noble, James Wise denied. I hate that deal. I love the realtor, my guy Dave. He's a good dude. If you guys wanna watch me and Dave go at each other over politics, follow me on Facebook. Um, but unfortunately for Dave, that property is just too beat up for the price he needs to get for his client. So that's not gonna work for you guys. 10601 Lynette, that is the one that I found you. I love that deal unlimited cash on cash return you guys definitely need to take that bad boy down and if for some reason uh, you can't take that one down or you just want to buy two right now because your goal is 10 i got you a bonus property here 3428 west 117th already occupied already it's not like super turnkey we can't assume that everything's perfect when these tenants move out you're going to have to refresh those units but for all intents and purposes it is a well-producing duplex if we can come in since it's been on the market for 160 days and it looks like the marketing package is a little bit subpar uh, for what investors need, you might be able to use that as an opportunity, come in, squeeze a deal, and maybe you end up into this deal for less than $25,000. Because if you can go into this deal, buy it cash at a slight discount, end up for less than $25,000, that, my friends, is also a successful bird deal. Maybe not the grand slam that Lynette is, but still, absolutely a win so chris kelly i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i answered all of your questions um, as far as writing offers on these properties again you can reach out directly to the listing agents or you can have me write them as your buyer's agent either way i think you've got all the information that you need to make a well-informed investment decision beyond what i've given you though make sure we write these offers contingent on a third-party inspection i essentially gave you guys the whole rundown of like outside the floor wall strategy, but we still should get a home inspector in these properties to verify every single thing. You know, just a little bit more due diligence you can do to ensure that you guys don't lose out on any money or make any major mistakes uh, when you're investing out here in the Cleveland market. For everyone else that is watching Chris and Kelly's video, if you would like me to analyze a property just like I did for them here, all you got to do, you go to HoltonWise.com and then you just swing up over here, property search for sale, okay? You know, first of all, you want to click here, right? That's going to sign you up to my mailing list and you can get the daily videos of all the properties I'm selling you. So you don't have to pay money for an analysis because every property I sell you guys, I already an analyzed for you. So you'll be able to view those. We send those out to you every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But there are more realtors in Cleveland. There are other people selling properties. So if you want the expert opinion, like you're getting here on properties we are not selling at Holton Wise, this is how you do it. You can just click on any one of the products. Um, you know, it's going to vary. You know, want me to analyze one property? You want me to find you the property based on your criteria? Whatever you got to do. You know, here is the map. This is a direct MLS feed. So any property listed in the Cleveland market, you have access to. And then if you click right here you can see the analysis products that I've already done for the clients. So you're going to know what you're getting. So like, again, right now, what you're seeing, I did this for Chris and Kelly 60 to 90 days ago, and I sent them a private link because I, I wouldn't let any of you guys looking at this content for free to come in and snake their deal. Once their deal is already done, the dust is already settled. I'm putting it out there on the channel for free to educate you guys. Um, Cause I'm sure, for those of you that are in the education phase and you're still doing your due diligence on the market and what provider to work with and you're trying to learn the neighborhoods, uh, obviously there's a ton of educational content you could take from this. Uh, so I will always continue to put this content out for free for all of you, um, but it is delayed. So if you have personal deals, you want personal attention, go ahead and pull up uh, that page and purchase one of these products. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Oh,
price. I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.